Hey everyone, it's your buddy Crypto Profit back with another video, and today we are going to be taking a quick look at the Theta Network. This Theta token has actually been doing a lot of volatility, different kind of things in the last couple of weeks. We've actually seen Theta go anywhere from 1590 at the top of the last couple of months, and then dropped all the way back down to below $4 at 363, 362 we were trading at just three days ago at the bottom of Theta. We have continued to see Theta really kind of struggle in the last couple of months. A lot of people were originally buying up the hype for this push for the mainnet 3.0. We saw from 631 all the way up to about 957, and uh, kind of stabilized around 950 for a while, but then you know the market struggled a little bit, and every single altcoin did struggle even more. Theta specifically struggled, and we saw it go from nine dollars or 950 all the way down to you know like I said that 362 363 range. So it is crazy to see Theta struggling so hard, as it's such a competent coin with such long term potential in my opinion i do believe the use cases utility behind data the ideas the ideology ideology i guess i should say uh looking very good so i think as we move forward we're going to talk about the price predictions i have for the end of the year and end of the 20 i guess you know 2022 bull market run if we actually see this bull market come back in late 2021 and obviously last into 2022 i do want to give you guys price predictions for both of those numbers so as we move forward i do want to say guys theta is definitely one of those coins i talk about a lot on the channel. So if you guys want to stay up to date with Theta and other altcoins on the channel, make sure to quickly subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on, and like the video. If we take a look at the last week alone, we are still seeing that 2.87% decrease. However, in the last month, a 26.85% decrease. So continuing to see Theta struggle, like I said, uh, but it's great to see us coming out of that $30.56 uh, we're actually 351 is our lowest point on that July 20th day. And I think, you know, it's great to see us starting to at least recover out of that spot. Um, you know, we may see volatility, we may see more dips. However, Theta is one of those coins that I believe in the long term will do very, very well. So let's jump into some different information here and uh, quickly deep dive a little bit farther. So Theta staking is at an all-time high at 64% of total supply, but we can do better to increase network security. If you aren't staking your Theta tokens, it's never been easier. Run your own node or delegate to a community node. So it is very, very easy to stake right now with Theta. And I will say, you know, I do expect this number to increase. And this is definitely a great start for Theta as we continue to see more more, more and really more people staking as, uh, you know, why not you know, make some extra money on your theta. So jumping into the next one, this one talks about, here we go, 40% T fuel staked. So 40% of T fuel is also staked. Definitely a big number there as well. This one was actually, you know, posted yesterday. So this is probably still fairly accurate around 40%. If we jump into the next thing, this is definitely a big deal. Uh, Bitpanda, if you guys have never used Bitpanda, you probably know what it is. It is an exchange. So Luna, Theta, Matic, and GRT are now available on Bitpanda. Uh, we're going to go down to Theta and read a little bit about this about because a lot of you guys out there may not know exactly what Theta all promises outside of, you know, Theta drops and Theta.tv. So founded as a decentralized and open source peer-to-peer -peer network, to move the video streaming industry into blockchain, the Theta network promises or optimizes user experience. Theta also provides fair earning structures for content creators in the network, while it really intermediary video platforms benefit by saving money on high-end infrastructure. Distributed for the first time in 2018, Theta tokens were initially ERC-20 tokens that were then transferred to the native Theta blockchain in 2019 after the implementation of the mainnet. So the network really kind of operates on a native blockchain based on a proof-of-stake algorithm and has two native tokens. So the cryptocurrency token, Theta for governance, and Theta Fuel to power the network. So that's just a little bit of the about about the ecosystem of data and how it all works and the idea behind it and what they're really originally trying to accomplish. So we're going to jump into a couple more tweets here. We also see the latest Theta protocol release version 3.1.0 will soon be released on July 25th as a significant milestone for usability improvement for the Theta blockchain. Learn all about it with the release notes blog. So we're not going to jump too much into that. I will, you know, kind of you guys can't really see much of this, so that's not a big deal. But, you know, realistically, we are still seeing updates, still seeing, you know, upgrades to uh, this network as a whole. And as Mitch says here, significant update definitely is a significant update. 
um, you know, as we move forward, I do want to talk a little bit more about these updates. But, you know, another kind of random thing here, we have Katy Perry actually announcing exclusive global NFT collaboration and investment in Theta Network. So just more people interested in the idea of Theta and uh, definitely jumping in at a very low price point if they jump in now. So we want to jump back and talk about one more thing here. So if we actually go to Theta Network on Twitter and we scroll down a little bit, we are going to be able to see um, where are we at here? So here we go. This is something that a lot of people were talking about earlier. Um, you know, they were complaining about this specifically. So we are actively working on bringing KYC and withdrawals to the Theta Drop platform ASAP. Thank you for your patience. So I do see a lot of complaints about this. Uh, you know, a lot of people saying they're not really NFTs if you can't withdraw them. And thankfully, they are jumping on board with, uh, you know, kind of giving us an update saying they are working on getting us to that withdrawal um, possibility out there. So uh, a lot of people excited about that. I do want to say that's uh, you know, a great thing to see them working on. We also go to the Theta token website itself, and we can see that there's a lot of possibilities here. So they talk about you know how they have live partners with Theta.tv, obviously, WPT, the World Poker Tour, and obviously the G Fuel as well. Jumping down a little farther, we can see the Enterprise Validator nodes including things like Google, Sunny, Samsung, CAA, Binance, Blockchain, Gumi, and their private equity institutional group as well. Uh, so they talk about the problem and the solution here. We're not going to jump into too much of that. We talked about that quite a bit in the past. If you guys want to pause the video or go to thetatoken.org, you can definitely jump into more of that. Because do remember, guys, I'm not a financial advisor, so always do your own research before investing. We also see the open source platform here as well, talking about theta.tv, Samsung VR, um, you know, and jumping into a couple of others as well. So we're going to jump back to the Theta price point. I do want to talk more about where we could see Theta by the end of the year and by obviously the end of the bull market that part two is coming after this accumulation fund manipulation stage is over that I expect to be over by, you know, September at the very, very earliest. So do expect some long-term holders to really kind of benefit during this kind of a time. So we are seeing this last 24 hours about a 2.31% increase altogether, a $4.7 billion market cap and a $337.4 million volume in the last 24 hours, continuing to see Theta do very, very well in this last 24 hours alone. Uh, but you know, like I said, moving forward, I do think Theta has a huge, huge uh, potential and possibilities. Um, but you know, like I said, guys, it's going to be a little bit more of a patient game here. By the end of the year, I do think we aren't going to see that, uh, you know, $60, $70, $80 price point that we are all hoping for. Uh, I think, you know, realistically, we're going to see more of a $30 to $40 price point at the very best. Um, and then pushing closer into that bull market part two at the very end of it, I do expect they to, to actually finally reach that 60 to $80 price point. And uh, that's, you know, about where I could pin Theta in a very conservative price prediction, in my opinion, that is a very, very solid increase. So if you guys didn't realize $4 to, uh, or I guess $4.7 all the way up to, you know, $80 would be a massive, massive push. And do remember guys, this is our conservative price predictions. We could even see much more than that. Um, but $80 is if everything goes to plan, we see Theta do big things, make new partnerships. Um, you know, that doesn't always take place, but we saw them do such a great job here in the past year. So we'll see if that does continue on. And obviously mainnet 3.0 with staking involved. I do expect big, big pushes for the Theta network and obviously T fuel as well. So thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure to quickly subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on and like the video. I'll see you guys all in the next one.